Hi. In this video, I'll talk about the basic concept of electric current flow and the flow of free electrons. Let's look at this image. We have a DC battery. The positive terminal is marked as plus. The negative terminal is marked as minus. There's a wire connected from the positive to a long conductor with red streaks. That's a conductor or a resistance. And uh, the other end of the resistance is connected via blue wire back to the battery. So the circuit is complete. Now, if you look at this animation, the current convention is that it flows from the positive terminal to the negative terminal, always for a DC circuit. The little black arrows which are moving opposite to that red arrow denote the movement of the free electrons in a conductor. So the free electrons in that conductor are moving from left to right. In fact, they are repelled by the negative of the battery and they get attracted to the positive terminal of the battery because the electrons are negatively charged. So negative gets attracted to positive, negative gets repelled by negative. That much is logical and we can understand the movement of the electrons. So the current flow is always opposite to the movement of the free electrons. Now if we were to imagine that instead of the conductor we substitute a piece of plastic or rubber uh, as shown by the white cylinder out there, then such a component is called an insulator and a plastic or rubber piece does not have free electrons. The electrons are very tightly bound to the nucleus and even if we were to apply a potential difference by connecting a battery, the electrons won't budge at all. If the electrons don't move from the nucleus, then there won't be any current flow through that piece. That's the principle of the current flow. It needs electrons to be moving. I hope this was useful. Thanks and have a great day.